At the minority in parliament is readying itself for a battle with government over the proposed establishment of the Ghana Development Bank. The group has served notice it will not accept any public resources dedicated to the setting up of the bank, describing the ongoing recruitment process as shrouded in secrecy. While well, John News is learning that government in the 2021 budget allocated 300 million CDs as seed money for the bank, which is yet to take off. Again, government has de decided it will not seek parliamentary approval for the setting up of the bank, but will rather use the Registrar General's department for the necessary approvals. But the minority leader, Harun Idrisu, tells John News, Government is only running away from uh, parliament accountability and scrutiny. He warns that his side will not support any appropriation to the bank until uh, parliament has been uh, updated on the status of the process. A national development bank in principle can be established publicly or privately and it can be by legislation or through the Registrar General Department, as we are hearing. But it appears to me that on the matter of the National Development Bank, Ken Ufuriata, the Minister of Finance, is simply running away from parliamentary scrutiny and parliamentary accountability. Why do you say that? The primary question to ask is whether or not this bank is being funded with taxpayers' money and public money or not. I'm aware that some COVID resources of up to 300 million Ghana cities in the 2020-2021 review budget have been allocated for the establishment of the National Development Bank. We in the minority are opposed to even the concept of a new national development uh, bank mm -hmm. if you have funding adequately capitalize and finance the existing banks to make them more viable in order that they can invest uh, and provide credit to the private sector mm -hmm. the economic win of the private sector have as i've always uh, said and maintained is access to credit and the cost of uh, credit now, you don't want public or civil servants to play any role. As I heard uh, Claygog, uh, an official of the Ministry of Finance speaking at uh, ISA. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot run a national development bank as if that was an extension of uh, a data bank, I mean, somewhere, uh, quite clearly. Uh, that is uh, legally uh, untenable. But the reason you, should, you, should, you should know further that uh, the Agri Development Bank was established in 1965 by an act of parliament, Act 286. The Ghana Exim Bank, which was established under uh, the NDC to support export financing, was established in 2016 by Act 911. The National Investment Bank was established in 1963 by Act 163. Mm -hmm. So what best practice? Now, given our own experience, and the contemporaneous issues of a financial sector clean up. Mm -hmm. This is even when you need parliament to regulate what the object of the bank will be, to regulate what the functions of the bank will be, so that they don't engage in fiscal irresponsible act, mm -hmm. and that they don't engage and dole out money as bad investment. You can only regulate that by law. So. It, 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 it's kind of defeatist for me, for the Minister of Finance, to want to establish this National Development Bank without recourse to Parliament. But will they come for Parliament to provide funding for it? What will be the basis for Parliament approving money for such a bank? Already it means that the 300 million allocation is clearly illegal. You must have a legitimate lawful institution that Parliament can appropriate for. So I find the arguments of the Minister of Finance and his uh, representative bizarre. And I'm saying that let's learn from our experiences that many of these banks have not lived up to expectation. We need legislation to strengthen the focus of the banks by way of defining their objects, by way of determining their functions, and more importantly, 
to direct that they engage in prudent capital investment mm -hmm. and avoid bad investment with the use of state public resources and tax payers' money. What? So the Minister for Finance must simply walk back to Parliament 